In the book of Proverbs, which belongs to King Solomon. Now the book of Proverbs teaches you on how to be wise on earth. Teaches you wisdom on earth. Proverbs 14.2. 14.12, beg your pardon. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Wow. Look at King Solomon. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. You see, when you go out first with so-called friends to experience life for the first time coming out of the cage called home, and you're going into the free world, and you're going with those friends, the first time the way seems to be very right. Man, I'm really enjoying this. I was I was imprisoned all these years at home by mom and dad. For the first time, this bird is flying out of this cage. I am free and I'm really enjoying it. The way is right. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm mixing. I'm associating. I'm exploring. I am expanding on my knowledge and on my insight. But the end of this way, King Solomon says, it is death. I left home so innocent. I ended up being so corrupt and polluted. I ended up, ho I left home so pure. I ended up being defiled by the harlot women, all the colors of the world. I started to speak in a foul language. I started to walk in a crooked and twisted ways. I was so pure and now I am so miserably corrupt. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. Not everything that feels good is good for you. Not everything that is seen to you as being right is right. You need to let God be the definer of what is right and what is wrong. Don't ever take that definition into your own hands. Let God show you the way. Let God bring people that he chooses your way. Don't ever choose people outside of God. Let God choose them for you. Let God. And by the way, a family is God's choice. So what do we do? Us intelligent kids, we go against our families and we befriend strangers in the street. Aren't we smart? No wonder we get into so much trouble. No wonder we lose track of what is right and what is wrong. No wonder. But the world helps you to walk away from family values. Yes. Actually, the world is attacking family values and family bonds.